All right, welcome back. So now we're going to try an interesting thing, and we're going to play with functions that take functions as input. Those are higher functions. You've seen this before. Those that return functions, and even a list of functions. So we're going to try a little example in which I'm going to have a list of functions. I'm going to see and explore another function called compose. That's going to be able to take two functions and merge them into one. You're like, what? And we're going to see how I can then take my list of functions, merge them into one mega Frankenstein function, and then call that. We'll just play with it, OK? So my first, I'm going to make a list. So let's make a new variable. OK, list of functions. These are going to be monadic functions, things that have one input and one output. And you guys can suggest some functions to, to add to that, OK? So I'm going to start here by saying set list of functions to be a list of fun functions. So what are fun things you might want to do? To, to uh, like take an input and take the output. What, what might you want to do? Well, how about reversing it? How about reversing the letters in it? So let's talk about the domain and range of these functions. Let's make them, uh, make them numbers, OK? So how about reversing the, reversing the digits? That might be kind of fun. Let's do that one. So let's make the reverse the digits. Let's do this really quickly. Make an operator reverse of a word. And how do we do reverse of a word? We saw that earlier. That I'm going to do a swap. I'm going to do a combine with a join swap. So let's go back, get, grab a combine, return combine. Items of word, well, word's not a list. So I actually have to split the word into his word to list, a beautiful block. So bink, that guy's there, that guy goes there. OK, combine with what? And I want to do a join but a swap. So let's try it together. Watch this. We can either write the join swap procedure or check this really cool thing out. I could actually start to use join. Grab our join guy. His join. Join, this has to be a dyadic function of two arguments. This has to be there. OK? Now, what's that going to do? What will this do right now? Takes the word, say, beauty, divides it into a list, B-E-A-U-T-Y, right? Then combines that with join, which puts it back, and what do you get? Output, beauty. Input is beauty, output is beauty. It doesn't do anything. I want to switch it. So it turns out that if you switch the arguments, you can actually get a reverse command. So watch this. This is so cool. Gray order. Input names. So now I have to have two inputs. So now rather than having these blanks, I have two inputs. Let's call it left and right. And now join swap does this. Right goes on the left of the join. Left goes on the right. We saw this earlier on a clicker question. Let's try this. Bam. Let's go grab it, reverse. Let's see if this works. This would be so cool. OK. Uh, ABC, reverse ABC. TBA. Huh? What do you think? It's a reverse. OK. All right, good stuff. So there's reverse. Powerful. That's our first guy. Watch. This is going to be so much fun. So my first guy is a reverser. Boink. The second guy is going to be a, what we're going to call somebody who doubles the first letter of whatever it is. So what would that be? Uh, somebody who doubles the first letter of your list. OK? So watch this. I'm writing it right now. Watch. This is so cool. This is so cool. Watch. I'm going to not give it a name. I'm going to make a function right now. Takes in one, takes in a word, and then takes the first letter out and add, adds it to the front. So beauty would be of two Bs in the front. It's kind of like you're stuttering when you say that. OK? Let's try it. Ready? Watch. So let's get this. This is a function. How many arguments? One argument. Call it word. What's it going to do? Stay with me. This is going to be cool. I'm going to join. Watch this, watch this. I'm making a function. Join of, how do I do How do I do my double B beauty? Well, first of all, I take word and put it there, right? And what's in front of it? Letter one of word. Is this cool? Watch. We're doing this in real time. Letter one of, now you know why I had this word guy here, right? There. I just made a function. I made an anonymous function. There's no name. OK, I'm going to make this guy small so I have more room. Watch this. This is so cool. We're having a good time. OK. Join the letter one of word with word. Let's try, you want to try it? Let's try it. Let's pull out a call and test it. Remember I told you you can call that? So let's call this. Where's my call? Call, 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 call. I'm going to call that function on with inputs what? Which we call beauty, right? We said beauty. Beauty. Should have two Bs. OK, let's try it. Take this 
and put in my call. Up there, watch. Put in my call. Boink. Call this guy with input beauty. What should it give me? Double B beauty, right? Let's try it. And how was the thing? That's my second function. Double the first guy, OK? Is this great? So I can take this out and put this in my second guy. Reverse is the first guy. Whoops. Reverse is my first guy there. Now, I have an error. Because this is going to make a list of a call to reverse. Because look, reverse is not have a gray border around it. You have to actually wrap the gray border so you're not calling it right now. This is important. So watch, I right click I, or control click, and one of the labels is ringify. Yoink. No error. Now I have, I'm passing in the function reverse, the function double the first letter. What else should I have? What's another fun one I can do? Give me, let's, let's go to operators. What else can I do? What else can I do to a thing? Let's do it quick. How about double it? How about just double it? Smush it together, right? So it, beauty becomes beauty, beauty. OK, so try that. That's an easy one. So how about this? How fast can I do that one? Ready? Watch this. This is so cool. OK, grab this. And here's what's, here's what's ridiculous. Here's what's really ridiculous about Snap. Snap says these are expecting, these are expecting single input arguments. But Snap. If it has a two inputs, it'll just copy the input to both places. It's kind of like a helper. So watch this. I call this. What do I get? It just works. I don't have to have the with input beauty and then put it twice. It just works. That's, a, that's one of the snap niceties. OK, so let's try it. Let's drag this guy to the third guy. There. Now I have three functions. Three functions. Each of them take a word and a word out. OK? Watch this. List of functions, set it to there, boink. Boom, list of functions, OK? Now here's the coolest part. I have a meta function that comes built in when you add, when you go into the tools and you say libraries. One of the earliest one is iteration and composition. So watch this. There's something at the bottom called compose. Compose takes two functions, f of x, and g of x and returns f of g of x. It smushes functions together. See how I, I can't get my grid off my face. So watch this. What if I call, this is hard stuff. I'm doing like a really advanced project just so you can see how cool this is. Combine. Combine's a smusher, right? But what if each of the arguments, rather than being boring a, b, c, d, is function, 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 function. Oh, if only I had a tool that took two functions and could smush them together into one. Compose. Combine with compose <laughs> items of list of functions. OK? That's going to return what? A value? A function. So. Let's call that, let's just give it a variable name so it's got easy there, okay? We'll call it Frankenstein. No? Frankenstein, did I spell it right? Stand Frankenstein. And let's set Frankenstein to be the return value of, or set Frankenstein to be the return value of this compose. Franken function. Ah! Step up! Step up! Okay, this is, this is subtle, this is subtle, this is subtle. I have to do this. Input names one and two. I'm going to say function one, function two, and I have to drag these like that. It's a subtle thing you have to do, but it's OK? It's OK. Set Frankenstein. Done. Frankenstein set to that. Now, here's the best part. Let's now call Frankenstein on something. So let's go call, grab our call. We're so close. We're so close. This is going to be great. OK, where's my call? Where's my call? I'm at the bottom, at the bottom, at the bottom. Call. Call, OK, variables. Frankenstein, not, that's a continuation of all oh, wrong call. That's a more complicated thing. Talk to us if you ever want to learn how that works. OK, I'm going to do call. Call this call. There. Call Frankenstein on, what should we do it? What should we call? How about Cal? OK, so I claim, let's try it. I think the way Compose is going to work is it's going to do the right to left. So it I think it should be, first it doubles it. So cal becomes cal-cal. Then it's going to add one to be 
double C, so C, C, A, L, C, A, L, then reverse it. That's how they, so it's going to be L, A, C, L, A, C, C. Okay, lack, lack, kaka. Let's try it. Let's try it. Come on. This is the thing. Three, and I want to pause if this works, okay? Three, this is live. Live demos are always Lack, lack, kaka. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Ah, lack, lack, kaka.